Hani's got 12 and 9 on the season. Mm-hmm. 21 combined goals and assists. He was absolutely on fire this game. They had to take him out early. Didn't have to, but a <laughs> good idea from Gary Smith because he was getting beat up a little bit and he already had two goals. And uh, did he have an assist? I don't know. Either way, he was he was balling. Is he an MVP finalist? I still think this is Carlos Heels. I said when he scored that game winning goal. Congrats to your MLS MVP for 2021. I believe that will be the case. Mm-hmm. Should Hani be one of the top three finalists for that award right now? So I, it feels pretty safe to say Rui Diaz is one of them as well, right? Yeah. You would think Rui Diaz. You would think so Shallowy would have a, a pretty so darn good So the question is the third be spot, there as well. But yeah. I think Rui Diaz is locked in, and I think Heel's locked in. So I the think, debate is, I, is Hani third. I think Hani's there. I think Castellanos is also there. I think okay. he's been he's been very good this year. For DC fans are, are super pissed off right now that we haven't said Ola Kamara's name in this early conversation, but because, he is the Golden because, Boot leader by two goals. You that's, know, that's that great, doesn't matter. But, yeah. You're the eighth that, team in the Eastern Conference. I, hey, look, I completely agree. Thank no, you for seriously. making the point for me. I completely no. agree. Uh, so in all honesty, he, he does not deserve to be in that conversation of MVP of the league because he has 16 goals on the season. I think he's he's done extremely well for himself this year with DC United, considering last year, I think at this stage he had two goals, maybe. Yeah. Um, so he he's he looks redefined. He looks like he's found a rhythm and he looks happy. Last year, it looked really tough. So, I, you know, I, I, we talked about DC United last last go around. I, I don't, I've, I think with Hernan Losada and those tactics and getting everybody bought in, Andy Nahar looks incredible this year it's going to take them another year to really challenge i think uh for for an mls cup but i, I do threw think you off playoff... the, i threw you off with the ola kamara stuff yeah, is honey mukhtar the third mvp finalist ah, in your yeah, mind yeah. in your mind right now if you're saying Rui diaz and carly seal would you say honey mukhtar is the third or is there doubt in your mind in that sense Daniel Shaw, he's got thirteen and six. His team has a a better record. It's it's slight, I know. Yes, I would. But it, but I, it I is would, a better would, record. They're first I, in the West. I would put Hani Mukhtar as third. I would. What, what would you say, Dave? I think the same. Yeah. It's, do you want? What would you say? I know you want. I don't know. I, I'm sitting, I, I know you want to uh, say. Look at him. You got the SKC you know, jersey on. I, he wants to I'm throw like, Shallowy in I'm there. Dang I know. It. I'm like over here trying to just formulate the the case. Oh man. I'm looking for game-winning goals in the stats page, and I can't find it right now. Shallowy has a lot. Most of his have been laid on, although that stats He's, like a little bit tough because if you yeah, I mean, look, it's a, cont- a it's a contextual win. stat. It's not exactly yeah. it's not exactly perfect. I don't and think I there's think- a wrong answer between between either of them. I mean, this uh, is the thing. This is this is how tough it is right now. Is that I, to me, both those guys are, if not on the same level, on similar levels, and the importance to their team. Ah. Oh. And I'm loath to push him in on two goals against Inter so, Miami. And, and so here's the here's the thing that I come to, sort of to Charlie's point in the Ola Kamara conversation, which is a little bit different. Is in in an MVP performance, it's not just goals; it's how you affect right. your team, it's how you dictate the game, and it's how your team plays. And Nashville plays through Honey Mukhtar, and the way he plays dictates the style of the games that he plays in. And while Daniel Shallowy has been phenomenal. That's not the case with him. You don't play through him. And it's not his actions and his ability with the ball that changes the way your team or the other team, more importantly, plays. And so that's where if it's more sure than I just enti- stats. I'm not sure I entirely agree with that. That's fine. But I will I will acquiesce to you that Hani is maybe more of an active, like throughout the game piece affecting that than shallow he is and i say is... preach to di- to to goss <laughs> i don't preach. know let us let us anything i know what nashville fans think Nash- about this and, one and nashville is is really the only team that scares me in the eastern conference that could that could literally beat the revs on the road he's got the crest on Be- because they are so defensively organized and they can hit you on the counter they can dominate you on set pieces. We yep. saw, we've seen what Walker Zimmerman can do, how he just absolutely dunked on Matuidi. And the disrespect yeah, I like how he got up and the dunk just, Sally. He, just, he just flexed on him <laughs> yeah. too afterwards. He's yeah, like, but then oh. he actually he actually did a dunk. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. Oh, I didn't I yeah, missed I said, that somehow. Oh, yeah, about that one. But um they 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 
they they're dangerous at the you know they're really good i think they're well coached organized and they do have players like hani mukhtar who can who can step up and do do things when when uh they need them to what one thing to throw in off this game i understand it was inter miami they were missing figal they were missing lgp this wasn't a prime opponent but we've seen nashville play with a back five this year mainly when walker zimmerman's out as a way to sort of cover for that this was one of the first times we've seen the 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 top options in that formation. And we know Lovitz is one of the better attacking left backs in the world in the league. Whoa. He just got elevated in the world. world. Yeah, dude. Nice. And Alistair Johnston can do it as well. And what I love about the opening goal is it's an underlap from Alistair Johnston with Mukhtar or Leal going wide. Because Alistair Johnston's comfortable inside, he's a comfortable outside. And then you see that back three with Walker Zimmerman in it. I don't know if this is what they would use in a matchup on the road against the revolution. They have a ton of attacking pieces that have been good this year that they're sort of trying to fit in and out. But this is another card, I think in the hand for Gary Smith that we didn't maybe know about coming into this run, that if he can get some success with this, he's got options. He's got the ability to at least throw another team off. You have to plan for something else. And that's really exciting for Nashville fans. By the way, plus 20 goal differential for Nashville. That's the best in the league. Did you enjoy that? Was that right up your alley? Well, go subscribe to Extra Time wherever you listen to podcasts. You can also check the full shows on the MLS YouTube channel right over here, and you could subscribe to the MLS channel right here. Thanks for listening and watching, everybody.